Hi, here we got two cameras which are designed to watch bird feeder. The large one and the small one. Appearance, these two cameras look quite different, but technically they use very similar hardware platform to build in. Both cameras can deliver high resolution video. The microphone is built into the camera so they can pick up the audio. Also, there's infrared for two cameras which to de deliver the night vision. And two cameras support Wi Fi connectivity. Here is the micro SD card slot so you can install the micro SD card to the small one. For the large one, the micro SD card has been built in, it's 64 GB. The major difference for this camera is about the lens. This large one comes with the long lens and the small one comes with the short lens. With the long lens, you can watch longer but small area. For the short lens, it's going to see shorter but very large area. I think it's better to put up these two cameras and record some of the footage to compare and it's more easy to explain. Okay, now let's just hold up these two cameras and record some video. Let's start with the small camera. Now I've mounted the small camera to the bird feeder. You can see the camera catch very large area, it's about 120 degrees. And when the camera is close to the observed object, like the feeder, it still can get a good image. So this is the application for the small camera. When you're going to place the camera very close to the feeder, then you need this small one. Okay, now let's just move to the large one. Now I set up the large one. I also can see the live video on the mobile phone. Let's say if you want to watch the water birth, it's about 10 feet from the water birth to the camera setup spot. We need to use the large one. The large one uses the long lens. So you can see, let's say, you can see very clear image from the water birth, but the area is small. If we just use the small one, the one we test before, it almost catch everything. Like this one, it will catch everything, but the area is large and the object, the bird will become very small. So that's the difference for these two. The long run, it will come with the a very large image, far area, it's about 10 feet. But for the short one, it needs to be very close to the bird feeder. Okay, and for this small one, we also have other mounting options like this one. You can mount a small camera on the water port or use this one to fix the camera some way to just pointing to the feeder or the nest. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.